Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and I am so excited for today's video. It is a bikini haul. We are going to Bali in less than two weeks and I have been a little bikini crazy, not gonna lie. Like I ordered way too many bikinis. They just kept coming in the mail and I would just forget about them. Like, oh yeah, I ordered that, I guess. And then today I was laying them all out on my bed and I was like, how did I order this many bikinis? Like, this is insane. We're only going to Bali for 10 days. I don't need this many. But I mean, can you really have too many bikinis? I don't think so. So, here we go. So, this first bikini I'm wearing is Lily Fama. So, it's just a strapless. It also has a strap that you can put on to make it a bandeau. And then these matching bottoms. It's supposed to be a push-up, but it's kind of hard to be a push-up when it's strapless. But I mean, if it was like that by itself, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Itty titty committee, is that what it is? So yeah, super cute. I love the colors, the leopard, very tropical. Now, I have another pair of Lily Fama bottoms that I put on that also matches with this top. So it's like a two for one, okay? I'm a bargain shopper. So. These are the other bottoms. A strappy, Brazilian, I can't see them. The strappy bottoms, also by Lily Fama. Very cute. Definitely cheeky. But I love it that I can like mix and match some suits because it's like you get double the bikinis. And these, like I can make them like high waisted. And I think I got tan on there. Super cute, probably one of my favorite bikinis that I own. All right, so this next suit is also by Lily Fama. Super cute fringe push-up top. Like, love the push-up top. Like, you need to have a push-up top. <laughs> and then also the same bottoms as the last ones I had on, just a royal blue. Such a pretty color. This is like the same color as my bikini competition suit. Love it, very bright. Kind of reminds me of like a Vegas suit. So I'm not sure like where I'm able to wear it because obviously not your everyday swimsuit. But it was so cute and different that like I had to have it. Also again, Stop! You are so nervous. Don't look at me. So the next five suits are from Zoffel. I recently just learned about Zoffel, and I was a little sketchy because they're super cheap. It's from another country, but for the most part, they fit pretty well. I'm just not sure how much I would trust to put them in the water. Like, I don't think the material is, I don't know, like, I can't think of the word. I don't think that I would trust the material in the water to go swimming, but super cute for pictures. Most of Zoffel's bikini bottoms are pretty much underwear. They do not cover your butt. Like I got them in the mail and I was like, oh, okay, don't think that I can wear these to a family gathering, but cute for pictures. So here's the first one. I really love this top. It has little straps on the side very girly and feminine and then also some little buttons very very cheap the bottoms i'm not sure if these i have a this is a small i'm not sure if the bottoms are a little too tight i guess i can pull them up a little bit This one screamed Bali vibes. I love the color. Usually all my swimsuits are black and turquoise. So this year I tried to like get out of that color range and try some other colors as you'll see like later on in the video. Um, 
super cute, yellow, flowery. Like, I mean, like I said before, I don't know how much I would trust this in the water. Yes, it's strapless, but I do have other bikini brands that are strapless that I would trust to go in the water or walk around. It's just kind of very lightweight. Super cute though if I'm just laying out. So these are the bottoms. Also, very cheeky. My boyfriend was like, do you have bottoms that cover your butt? I can't help it that my butt is so big. Um, very cute top. I feel like I could wear this with like some jean shorts. Obviously does not do anything for your boobs, but still super cute crochet top. Perfect little like gypsy summer vibes. So I'm like looking at the mirror behind me so I can still see what I'm looking like. And then also the bottoms, very, very different, very revealing, but I like how they're high-waisted, super cute design. Can't really show you the bottoms because they're like a complete thong, so I'm not gonna turn around. But I love the front part, so I think this would be really cute for a picture. Just to take how the high waist they kind of like accentuate those curves. So super cute from the front. <laughs> I'm listening to music down here, so it's not so awkward just walking around my bikini. So if that's what you hear in the background. I'm also just not dancing to nothing. Okay, so this one is also from Zoffel. It's turquoise, dark turquoise though. Um, little braided strap to the bottom, once again, cheeky. And the top is, it's cute. It's just a little weird. Like, the padding's a little weird, like, does not do anything for this. The back, like, it comes up, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not. So I try to like point it down to like make it like a straight across in the back, but then it comes up in the front. So, I mean, I took a really cute picture in it a few weekends ago, but it was like from the side, so it was kind of like hiding those kind of features. Still cute, but not my favorite, but I mean, Zoffel's so cheap and it took two weeks to get here, so I wasn't gonna go through the hassle of like returning anything. So I just have bikinis for pictures, you know, or bikini hauls. I need to stop dancing because I'm out of breath. This is the last one from Zoffel. Um, so I mainly got this for the bottoms because the top is almost like a porn star top. So I'm kind of like scared to be there right now. These are the bottoms, super cute. I just love the strap, I think the strap is super cute. And then here's the top, it's literally like, looks like black tape. But it actually does, like, I just put it on and it actually does a pretty good job of like pushing you up when there's like nothing there. So I am pleasantly, I am pleasantly surprised on that because I actually wasn't gonna put this top on. But when I did, it actually gave me a little bit of cleavage. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I feel a little bit more feminine now. But yeah, super cute. It was very cheap. So I was like, I can get it just for the bottom. But I kind of actually like the whole thing. So moving on, I'm gonna go to some swimsuits I picked up from Macy's and some surf brands. All right, so moving on to Macy's and some surf brands. This one is from O'Neal. Very cute and feminine. Purple, like little flowers. This one, when I was taking the tags off, it says um, like moderate coverage. So I actually have some swimsuit bottoms that cover this butt. This is moderate coverage. And I feel like it's still all out there. Like no matter what kind of full coverage bottoms I wear, Can't help. So this one has a super cute back. Has like a little strappy detail. And then the bottoms 
are just like two little double straps. I'm trying to like, I feel like the style it's in right now, well, I feel like it is, like it's the high-waisted bottoms. And I'm just afraid to buy them because I'm like, I'm afraid I'm not gonna pull it off. So then with like regular bikini bottoms, I'm like trying to pull them up to make them high-waisted. So then they look better on the curves. And then I have like these muscles that just pop out of here. And it's not like the tall skinny models that can pull it off. So this one obviously does not do anything for this region, but I still wanted to buy it. Super cute because I definitely still needed a swimsuit that I could wear around my family and feel comfortable in. And then out in public when I don't wanna like show too much and still be conservative. And this is a swimsuit that I would trust to go on adventures or jump off cliffs or waterfalls or whatever. So super cute. Definitely is doesn't look like me, so I wanted to buy it. It's not black or turquoise, so I had to put it in the bikini collection. So this one is the other O'Neal one that I picked up. I love the print. I think it's like a tribal Aztec. I'm not very good at patterns or describing things. Um, once again, this is very just a relaxed swimsuit. Doesn't do anything, so yeah, just embrace the small boobs. Embrace them. So, super cute. I love the design. The, I love the design. Um, the bottoms are actually reversible. There was a top that was reversible as well, except for it really did nothing for the top part. So I was like, I don't care about the other side. I really only wanted to get this design. And so, super cute. Very feminine as well, the cut. And then these bottoms, just a thick strap band. Once again, try to pull them up just a little bit, just so they like sit nicer on the hips. And then the bottoms, they're like moderately cheeky coverage. That's how I'm gonna describe them. Super cute. I love the back of this too. Just very simple design, very lightweight, so it's not gonna bother me. I don't like swimsuits that tie in the back because I can't wear tank tops. Like I have to wear the swimsuit and that's it. So when I look for a swimsuit, I try to get swimsuits that just snap or have like back like this. Although because this one is so lightweight, it doesn't squeeze my lats. I have one I'm showing you that does squeeze my lats. So it's like not my favorite, but this one's very loose, not loose, but like lightweight, not, not tight at all. So very cute and dainty. So I will show you what the bottoms reverse into with another top. I'm just gonna make this like three swimsuits in, out of one. It's amazing. All right, ladies, for all of those ladies who were mad when Victoria's Secret discontinued their swimsuit line, like I am honestly still upset about it. Like I just keep hoping that one day they'll bring it back. Like, you know what? Let's bring our bikini line back. You know, because the Victoria's Secret pink line, that doesn't count as bikinis. It's like little teeny bobber stuff. That doesn't count. I need the real bikinis from Victoria's Secret. Like, their push-up tops, the bombshell tops, those helped a lot of women across the world. And they just took it away from us. But now, I found this. This is a Voda swim top. And it adds like, I think a cup and a half. I think that's what it said. Um, it's like patented, but look at that. Those are some boobs out of nowhere. Like, I don't know where they came from, but now I have a lot of cleavage. Super cute, like, obsessed with this top. I really wanted black and turquoise, but I already have those colors in Victoria's Secret push-up pops. So, I got this really cute burgundy maroon color. They didn't have my matching bottoms which in my size, so I was kind of disappointed about but these are the O'Neill bottoms that like reverse into like black and white stripes so I can just wear them with this top and have a whole new swimsuit but I honestly recommend this swimsuit top like I want I want them in every single color they have I think they have a fringe one and they have other styles they have like 50 colors I sat there for like three days trying to figure out what color because I couldn't decide. I really wanted to buy multiple ones, but this was near the end of like my bikini binge. And I was like, okay, just one more, just one more. You have to have this one's push up, like. So I decided on only one 
but I'm obsessed with it. Like, there's no denying this, none. So, this is just, hold on, I'll do another little, Like you have to have this in your swimsuit collection. Not, I'm not kidding you, this is just the best. I can't say any other things about it. I, mean, I haven't tried it in the water yet, but there is like a patent and like it doesn't like retain or hold water. But I just feel like a woman in this top. Although you should feel like a woman in every single top, boobs or no boobs, but I just, I just like this top. So this top, I ordered from Target online. Super cute, very, very feminine and dainty. Makes me feel like a girl and I love it. Straps are so cute. I really wanted a swimsuit top that had the little straps on the side. These are just a little, a little crazy over there. Um, so I ordered this one and then in the mail came the Zoppel one with the flower with the little straps. I'm like, oh, I forgot that I did order one with straps. So now I have two. So super cute for pictures or like hanging out at like the beach or if I want to have like some high-waisted shorts, super cute as like a bandeau top. Um, it is kind of like thin, but there's not like a whole lot like underneath or not a whole lot of like, well, I guess that would have helped if I like put it on completely correct. <laughs> it's ruffles all around, you guys, ruffles all around. We're all learning together. Super cute. It's just one ruffle. There's no like material underneath the ruffle, basically. But still, super cute. Wear this like a high-waisted skirt. Um, like I said, the shorts. But it's super cute if I wanna have just like a swimsuit top on with some cute bottoms if we're at like, I don't know, like a, a beach party or whatever. Who knows, I have no idea but I had to have it, obviously you can't go swimming in it, but I can sip some pina coladas. Here comes the black peonies. So this one I also got at Macy's. I got this one last year for Bali, just a black bandeau. It was supposed to be like a push-up, kind of like the very first one I tried on. It has a strap, strappy on the sides, and then this, I don't know the brand. I don't think I've ever actually heard of it. Um, the bottoms are Roxy, and they're also very strappy. And then, also cheeky, moderate coverage. I think they're supposed to be moderate coverage. No, I don't know. They're cheeky. I mean, it's very hard to find a swimsuit that is not cheeky these days. Just trying to look presentable and for my family. Oh, also, I would like to note that I have bought most of these bikinis, probably 95% of them, probably 98% of them on sale. Like my Lily Fama ones, I got on sale like, it was like 40% off at this swim boutique down in San Diego, except for like the plain turquoise ones. I bought those last year full price, but all the other ones I got 40% off. The Zoffel is always on sale and it's super cheap anyways, like five bikinis for $60. And then the O'Neill ones I got, on sale during the Macy's friends and family, they were um, like 30% off, so you can't beat that. I'm sure I got this on sale because I got this last year. And I usually don't pay full price for bikinis. The Target top I did pay full price for, but I did get 5% off, so it was still, it was still something. And the Voda Swimwear, I bought that push-up top during the Memorial Day sale, so it was like 25% off, but that top was worth the full price. Okay, confession, so I just tried on the swimsuit for the first time since Bali last year, and I think I just fell in love with it again, because I remember not being too happy with it last year, and I think it's because, I don't know why. Well, okay, so this is the one I was talking about that like squeezed my lats, and it kind of doesn't do that anymore. I don't know if I'm just like, 
I do weigh a little bit more, but I am in better shape now because muscle weighs more than that. But I don't, I just remember it was squeezing right here a lot and it didn't look good on the bottoms like because these are kind of full coverage so it doesn't really do anything for the butt but they kind of i mean i was just checking them out in the mirror and i was pleasantly surprised i was like huh okay and actually like i did buy like push-up swim pads to put into some of my swimsuit tops and i actually just took them out the other day of this one but because it doesn't really it's just like light padding right here but Huh, like I was debating not bringing this to Bali this year, but now it's going in the suitcase. It's coming with. Like these bottoms, super cute from the front. I just, they kind of go up in the back and I don't like that. Like that's not a good look for anyone. See that? That shouldn't happen in a swimsuit. Oh, I don't know if I said the brand. This is L Space. And so I know they have really cute swimsuits. I've seen them on Instagram. I just, I don't know. Bottoms, cute from the front, not the back. But cute design, very simple, plain, you get it. Are you guys ready for my favorite swimsuit? I was trying to save the best for last. I just, I couldn't hold my excitement anymore. Some of you may have seen this because I've posted on my Instagram before and I got it last year. It was love at first sight. It is my favorite suit. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so excited. I don't even know how to present this suit. Shark attack! This suit is awesome. My favorite swimsuit in the world. It just makes me so happy. I wore this down in Huntington Beach last year and I got so many compliments on it and no weird tan lines at all. Super cute. And I have to show you guys these matching socks. It's a shark eating my leg and a shark that ate my stomach. Like what? Also, let me tell you a quick story. If you haven't seen my San Diego vlog, I got the socks. They said they couldn't sell them to me in the stores. Well, you know what? I'm smarter than that. I went online and I got the socks for half the price because I found them on some site and it was like $10, not $20 in the sock store. So, got the socks to match my suit. I don't have my blow up Bruce doll. I have a blow up shark because sharks are awesome. Shark just makes me happy. If I'm ever sad, I just need to put on that shark suit, sit in my shark suit, and just be happy that I'm a shark. I am one with sharks. This is how you don't get eaten by sharks. You wear the suit in the ocean with your socks and your blow doll, and the sharks, they think you're a shark, you're one with them, and they don't attack you. This is how I prevent shark bites. Peace and love. All right, so I could not film a bikini haul and not put in my practice posing bikini. This is from Angel Competition Suits. They made my competition suit all last year. Super pretty, blue, rhinestones everywhere. And then this is my practice suit. It is Wonder Woman. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this. I have to be a little careful because, you know, I got an appointment and like, Two weeks TMI but I mean I'm trying to push it out to like right before Bali and then I was like crap I have to film a bikini haul so I better get this going quick so this one is kind of hard to show but it's so cute I have posted this one on my Instagram check it out at little miss it's bow super cute and of course they added the little push-up cups for me you know getting a little something, something. Super cute, obviously. This is a competition bikini, so this one's like, bam, there's my butt. Super cute though, there's stars, you get the picture. Super cute, Wonder Woman. I tied this one too tight. 
but I'm too lazy to untie it. So I'm just gonna try it on real quick. All right, this top is Hula Honey. I just had to look at the tag. Hula Honey, I got this last year at Macy's for Bali. Super cute, I think I only wore it once last year, so I will have to get some more use out of it for our next trip in a couple weeks. Super cute, love the strappy design, and like I did try to venture out as black, but I got some like pattern going on. And then these bottoms are also a little strappy. These are Beach Babes Swimwear. <sighs> Fun fact, these are the first cheeky bottoms that I ever bought. And I bought them last year for a photo shoot and I was so like nervous to wear them. I was like, well, I'm only gonna buy them for the photo shoot. And then I mean, I think I've worn them now because I got a little more comfortable realizing that like every single girl now has cheeky bottoms. Even like these high schoolers I saw down Laguna Beach had cheeky bottoms with the butt cheeks hanging out. And I was like, man, this is just the thing. Everyone is wearing these bottoms. And I mean, I guess like they make your butt look good, but so they are cheeky. So these are the first cheeky bottoms I ever bought just last year. So yeah, very sharpy. I almost got another um, Beach Babe somewhere this year, but the band was almost just like the L-Space one, so I was afraid I was gonna squish my lats and it was just not gonna be a pretty sight. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. But it was a coral color, so I was getting out of my shell. But super cute, you know, just love the design right here and all the tan lines it doesn't give me. Okay, so this suit, kind of going out of order now. This suit is from Target. I got this top last year. I love it, it's just so different. Obviously, these bikinis these days are not made for tanning. If you wear all the bikinis that are out this now, like, you're getting some kind of weird tan line and you just gotta rock it. So, love this. Super cute, different. And then I just got these bottoms from Target this year. And I like them because they're high-waisted, um, high leg scoop just to make you look like you have long legs for people who are under 5'3". And then the bottoms are like full coverage but still cute, like they're not gonna squish your butt and make you look like you have nothing. So these are them, still super cute. I can wear them and feel comfortable and not like I'm showing or like revealing too much skin. So very like them, very like them. I don't know what that means. But yeah. It's a little, little sexy cute at the top. I'm just making up all kinds of words. So, I was debating to show this swimsuit or not because it is Victoria's Secret and Victoria's Secret no longer makes their swimsuits. I don't know whose decision that was, but they should be fired. You had one job, one job. So whoever decided to take it away, I don't know, but I think they should be fired. They didn't do their job well. So, I mean, look at this. Look at this. I know you can see it, okay? Like, why? Why did they take it away? It's very disappointing. I'm just trying to rock the no boob look, but look like I have Okay, this is just, this is why I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving it in because I will wear this swimsuit top every single year. And one day, Victoria's Secret is gonna bring back and I'll be able to buy all the swimsuits. Because the Victoria's Secret was still selling swimsuits, this whole bikini haul would be from Victoria's Secret. This is why. Okay, now, and the bottoms, super cute. And I also have another bottoms that can go with this top and a black top just like it. I feel like I don't need to put it on because you can't buy it. You can't buy this anymore. <sighs> Why ruin a good thing, you know? It's not fair. These are the bottoms, okay? Same as these, like, exact same. This is just like crochet, tie-dye. These are stripes and then black top, exact same fit as this, which is why I didn't get the Voda Swim and black or turquoise because they have the exact turquoise color and I was like, I cannot have two push-up tops turquoise. 
but I will wear this swimsuit top over and over and over. Like, I don't care if it's out of style or old because these two will remain my favorite swimsuits. And then I can also mix and match different bottoms with them or whatever, but I mean, same thing. I also have one other swimsuit top. This is also another Victoria's Secret. I have, <laughs> I have a lot more Victoria's Secret swimsuits, um, but I didn't want to show them just because you can't buy anywhere, but I did want to show my favorite ones because I do still wear them and I will be bringing them to Bali, but super cute. Like white design, like little gold studs on them, and then um, matching little bottoms. So yeah, super cute. I tried on for you and show you how cute it is, but I don't want to make you sad that you can't buy it anymore. And it's also like probably three years old. I don't know when Victoria's Secret stopped selling swimsuits because I try not to think about that day, but. You can't buy it anymore, so who cares? All right, that completes this bikini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching all of my new bikinis that I will be bringing to Bali. I cannot wait to rock them, take some super cute pictures in them. I, have, I haven't counted how many bikinis I have because I'm kind of afraid. I'm trying to like not think about it. So I will be using, my goal was like three bikinis a day. So we'll see how that goes. My boyfriend's only bringing one swim trunks and I was like, oh, perfect. So you have room for my swimsuits. All right guys, let me know your favorite bikini brands. If you have any other push-up tops brands that you know of, let me know down in the comments or let me know what your favorite bikinis are because I might need another reason to buy a bikini. I don't know. All right, I hope you have an amazing summer and I cannot wait to show you guys my Bali vlogs when we get back. Bye.